that our all kids draw and are creative, but it's pretty cool that I'm 22 and like I'm still doing this. My work was not connecting with a lot of people and it wasn't very emotive. Um, and I guess I kind of knew that, but having that sort of called out has made me, I think, make my work a lot more sort of like expressive of experiences of vulnerability I've had in my own life or experiences of resilience. But even this one behind me, I'm thinking about like just the frustrating experience of coming home and taking off these huge winter snow boots that I wore like every day between January and February. And it's nothing like, it's not a huge momentous occasion, so it's really in contrast with the way that women are presented in like media being always like perfect and fit and not awkward. I used to think I had a hard time transferring like my life experience into art, but it's actually been there all along and I'm like just realizing it now. It actually can be extremely frustrating and challenging. It's kind of like a workout to be here and like because I'll spend hours here. It's like really fulfilling and rewarding because it's a challenge. Like inspiration doesn't just, doesn't just strike. Like it'll just, it, it comes through by being here and like working through your problems. Um, and if you're like sitting at home, think you're just thinking about what you're gonna do, nothing's gonna happen. So yeah, you might come here and like make a shitty painting, but then maybe you'll learn something from that that you can put in the next work. I wanted to provide an alternative perspective on being a young woman and like subverting codes of normalcy or very like coded femininity, creating like a landscape of really like emboldened uh, female protagonists.